Homeward Bound, March 19. Repentance is. For godly sorrow produces repentance leading to salvation. 2 Corinthians 7, verse 10. How shall anyone be just with God? How shall the sinner be made righteous? It is only through Christ that we can be brought into harmony with God, with holiness. But how are we to come to Christ? Many are asking the same question as did the multitude on the day of Pentecost when, convicted of sin, they cried out, What shall we do? The first word of Peter's answer was, Repent. At another time, shortly after, he said, Repent and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Repentance includes sorrow for sin and a turning away from it. We shall not renounce sin unless we see its sinfulness. Until we turn away from it in heart, there will be no real change in the life. There are many who fail to understand the true nature of repentance. Multitudes sorrow that they have sinned and even make an outward reformation because they fear that their wrongdoing will bring suffering upon themselves. But this is not repentance in the Bible sense. They lament the suffering rather than the sin. Such was the grief of Esau when he saw that the birthright was lost to him forever. Balaam, terrified by the angel standing in his pathway with drawn sword, acknowledged his guilt lest he should lose his life. But there was no genuine repentance for sin no conversion of purpose, no abhorrence of evil. Judas Iscariot, after betraying his Lord, exclaimed, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. The confession was forced from his guilty soul by an awful sense of condemnation and a fearful looking for of judgment. The consequences that were to result to him filled him with terror, but there was no deep, heart-breaking grief in his soul that he had betrayed the spotless Son of God and denied the Holy One of Israel. Pharaoh, when suffering under the judgments of God, acknowledged his sin in order to escape further punishment, but returned to his defiance of heaven as soon as the plagues were stayed. These all lamented the results of sin, but did not sorrow for the sin itself. Steps to Christ, pages 23 and 24.